health, life, and hope. An exclusive interview you don't want to miss with the Bishop Emeritus of the Fort Wayne South Bend Diocese. Well, as many of you know, Bishop Emeritus John Darcy of the Fort Wayne South Bend Diocese is facing a serious health challenge. The cancer in his lung and brain was discovered over the Christmas holiday as he vacationed at his home in Boston. Executive producer Nicole Hahn, chief photographer Brian Gillett and I went to Boston and the bishop spoke candidly about his health, his life and his hope for the future of the diocese. Here is part one of that exclusive interview. It is said that there are no coincidences, so Bishop Darcy sees the hand of God in the timing of his diagnosis. He'd celebrated Mass in his home parish in Boston, shared a wonderful family Christmas at his childhood home, and after having some difficulty with his vision and other symptoms, went to St. Elizabeth's Hospital, where he was born 80 years ago. The diagnosis of cancer in his lung and brain came as a shock. But it was made easier because his sisters, Anne and Joan, were around him and they were able to care for him in the home in which they grew up. His longtime assistant, Maureen, bought a one-way ticket to Boston to help him as radiation treatments began. I feel pretty good. I haven't had a lot of pain. I feel some weakness. I'm eating very well, sleeping pretty well. Um, so I, I appreciate the prayers of everyone from all over, but especially from the diocese that I loved and still love and try to serve. I'm trusting in God and, and, and not in myself and looking forward to uh, seeing him. How wonderful to be back in the house where I prepared my father and mother for death mm -hmm. and uh, where I grew up. I was in this house uh, with my father in 1944 when he bought it for $7,500. And uh, as an Irishman, he thought it was too much. <laughs> Letters from children of the diocese, visits from priests console and encourage him, and of course, faith and prayer, which have sustained him throughout his life, a life he has lived with joy and love. One of the great gifts you have as a priest is to, um, to help people die, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so I had some priests here come and came and helped me die. My family has helped me. Well, he's my brother, my friend. It's love and joy that, uh, that makes me think of John. Right. Yeah, I mean, even love, love of his parents, love of his Irish heritage, uh, love of the church, uh, love of the Diocese of Boston, of Fort Wayne, um, love of sports, especially the Red Sox, um, but mostly love of Christ. I mean, that's, he's fallen in love with God, really. And that's not easy. It's, it's, it's a life of love, yeah. or it's nothing, pastoral love. You know, care for, care for them as Jesus Christ would care for them. So that's what I've tried to do. And <laughs> as you get ready for the end, not as well as I should have. I, 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 I'm very aware of that, that, that I should have done better. But I leave that to God. And it was great to see the bishop still have the twinkle in his eye and that great warm sense of humor. Tomorrow, the bishop reflects on his 28 years of service to the diocese and the challenges that lie ahead.